Um, a confused individual that is a man or a woman, but we'll focus on the men, needs a man who needs to be in the presence of a man or men who are learning about manhood in the light of life. I want to, like, how can you understand manhood disconnected from life? Is that really manhood? It's a form of manhood at the surface that is cliche. It looks like James Bond, and that's, but James Bond is a psychopath. Okay? He jumps off a building for the queen. Isn't that the super fucking simple of existence? Yeah, you never thought about that, did you? Well, that's you, dude. Manhood cannot be understood if it's removed from nature and life as a whole. Okay, we've established this. If you begin to realize that you have a problem and you are no longer satisfied with getting a car or more money or the narrative that capitalist America is selling you, you're going to look for a solution. Let us say that what I'm saying is making sense to you. Fantastic. You first need to be in the presence of men. If I want to be rich, you need to hang out with rich people. If you want to heal, you need to ha hang out with people who are healed or people who are on the path of healing or people who are... Healing is a big word, meaning people who are interested in the journey towards the goddess. Goddess meaning reality. Then they will also need the presence of women who have reclaimed their womb power. That means they're no longer bubble butt bitches. Which doesn't mean they can't have a bubble butt. It just means they don't identify to bubble buttness. Okay? Just so that we're clear. Okay? And that woman now is no longer... What you see today in the world is drug addicts. The woman is a crack fiend. And the man is a junkie. And the man's experience of a woman is a, is a, is a crack fiend. She's going to suck me. And I got to try to take from her before she takes from me. Everybody is in scarcity, in total, complete bankruptcy. If you haven't understood this, again, it's because you haven't done your due diligence and actually observed things. And felt yourself and felt how you actually feel. You would, it would be so clear if you did that. Okay? So, man's experience is with a sucker. That's my experience of women. My experience of women is a sucker. A distressed, psychotic bitch. A hypocrite, a manipulator. In some cases, less. Or plays the role nicer. But we can agree on that. This is what I appreciate about the menosphere. Because there's an agreement. We can't stop there, but there's an agreement, there's an understanding. It's like, yeah, something's wrong. They fucked up. And now they go at it and they masturbate. And this, this, I, I don't condone this, but there's an agreement. It's like, well, she's not what she pretends to be. No, she's not, obviously. She's a, she's a crack fiend, but you're a bitch too. So, so it's not f too many threads. This is our experience of women. A sucker. The reason she's sucking is because something is missing. Let us say that you encounter a woman with all that feminine energy who herself is full beginning or on the path of fulfilling her function as a natural woman. That means, as we've described, maybe now it's the previous video, right? That woman is not trying to suck you. That woman, when you're going to encounter her as a man, she's not trying to suck you. She's not trying to play you. She's not trying to manipulate you. She's not trying to humiliate you. She's not trying to put you in her lineup and, and uh, enslave you. She's not trying to do that. Yeah, but you don't know as a man what that experience is. Or you've very rarely maybe came across it. You don't know that. You've never been in the presence of the feminine energy, really. I'm not talking about the distressed, psychotic fucking feminine energy. I'm talking about an established, empowered, genuine, natural, organic, feminine energy that is stabilized. Yeah, but just to be in that presence, it changes you as a man. It teaches you. 
So my, my sexual encounters have evolved over the years from I need to come to, wait a minute. I don't want to get into details now. We'll get into details uh, later on. But the point is, if you help the woman relax, which is the man's job, you solve problems, the woman relax. If you really do your job, she's relaxed. She starts to relax. She begins to settle into herself. And naturally, that goddess energy or her, her nature begins to circulate. And you as a man are going to be witness to it. You're going to feel it. And it will teach you. It, in silence. It doesn't talk with words and the dictionary and thesauruses. And, no, 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 no. Silence. It's kind of hard to explain. It may sound weird to surface folks. I swear to God, I was one of you, man. I was like masturbating on porn and watching girls in porns getting fucked up their asses like an idiot. Like, I'm you. Like, I'm you. Okay, so like, I know it sounds kind of weird. It's cool though. It's kind of like Jedi shit with pussy. I totally agree. But I totally, like, it's like, you would have told me this when I was a kid. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. This guy is weird. Point is, I was in your position. It sounds like absurd it's like it's like from another world i'm like yeah well it's not another world it's reality and you are in another world like really honestly and that's why men and women cannot have relationships together because women is looking for she's looking for you to solve a problem that you don't understand and you have an itch that you can't scratch. And that's the dynamic. So clearly something's wrong. So what I'm trying to tell you is, is not, it's, it's profound, but it's not really profound. And that's how you learn as a man. You learn about women by being with women. So men who pride themselves in their conquests with women and how many women they had, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and his Magic Johnsons and all these supermen that bang a million holes and go to like these supreme uh, characters like in the movies, right? Uh, they're drug addicts. <laughs> they're never going to encounter that. First, they're not interested. And second of all, they, they don't know how to access this so to learn how to access this is the science of sexuality as from a man's perspective and without that first of all you're desecrating yourself you're disrespecting yourself in ways that you cannot even imagine and then you're disrespecting the woman and you don't understand who you're disrespecting that's what i'm trying to tell you i'm not saying you're less let's be clear and i'm not saying she's superior to you i'm not saying that at all i'm saying well that's the woman dude you don't, do you understand who do you do you know who that is no, you don't. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. For you, it's a hole or an idiot. And I understand because at the surface, that's what it is. But that's not who she is. That's not what's there. And if you had a sense of that, you, you, your behavior would change. You would never bang a random whore. Ever. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Promiscuity would disappear. Not because you're scared or because you can't, because you wouldn't, you wouldn't disrespect yourself this way. You wouldn't disrespect her this way. If this is the goddess, would you disrespect? If, let's pretend there's a thing as a goddess, right? And it appears in all its glory in front of you. Would you spit on her? Would you use her like a Kleenex? Like, let's pretend like we're like in a Marvel movie. You can understand this, right? And you have this supreme creature that arrives that can fly and she can build anything. She can give birth to God. Imagine, that's a, that's a, that would be a good Marvel movie. It's a Marvel movie about a woman who can birth God. Okay? Would you, like God to God, okay? In the man body on top of that. Would you, Use her as a Kleenex? Would you? I didn't say you can't enjoy her ass. I said, would you treat her like an ass? I didn't say you can't enjoy her ass. You must enjoy her ass. This is part of the worship. But what I'm trying to tell you is like, would you treat her like, a, like an ass? 
Of course not, because she has a superpower and a superpower is to give birth to God. Well, what happens if that's actually what the womb power can actually do? And now look at how you behave. And you can't help yourself because you're fucking sick. And you've made your sickness into a cool thing. And I respect that. Everything becomes cool in Kali Yuga. Everything is a thing. But try to understand what I'm saying. So in order to learn about sexuality, what I'm talking about is the science of sexuality. It says it's the essence of tantric, the tantric sciences. Another big word that... Right? It's the foundation of energy and the energy circuitry of the human body and the human experience. Okay? It's simple. As a man, somebody has to teach you if this, of course, you're interested in this. And you have to see why you would want to learn. So you need to be in the community of men who are on that journey. And this is not an easy time to learn about this stuff. And let, let me tell you, the, 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 the stuckness is so deep that it's like, it's a thing. And on the other side, you eventually need to encounter women who are not suckers. And these are rare. And they have a title, <laughs> which I'm not going to name right now. Okay? We're keeping things preschool. Preschool level. It's good preschool here, right? Eh? A woman who's not a sucker. That means she can see you, she can appreciate you, but she doesn't need to suck you and take you in so that she can fill herself and have a, a little impetus that will last for five minutes and give her a sense of self. Like, no, no. I'm talking about she's connected to who she is, what she actually does. Not in her mind, not Instagram mission to save the belugas. I'm talking about her connection to life itself. And as she stands in front of you, she, she's just an ordinary person. This is not special, what I'm saying. It's natural. And natural has become sensational. So you'll eventually, a, a man who's interested in learning or healing, because... At the end of the day, this is our nature, it's just something's in the way. So healing is the removal of what's in the way so that what is there can emerge. Okay, we're clear? So you'll need this and eventually you'll need that or her. Just to be in her presence, just to be in her space. It just, the goddess that is in her, she's not the goddess, the goddess is in her. Not to be confused because... In the New Age, they get confused. No. The goddess is in there, okay? And it, it, it's, it diffuses and it teaches you in silence. The same way nature speaks in silence, that intelligence, that power will communicate to you. And as a man, you will receive it. You, you, you couldn't imagine it. Some fucking geek in school couldn't imagine what I'm trying to say. You, you just get it. It's, it's like you're downloading knowledge. In silence. So I'm going to tell you something. Your experience of sex is going to change. It's going to go from a little scratch to a prayer, to a ceremony, to a ritual. Not new agey. Not let's pretend and hold candles and look inside. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You look at each other into the eyes and pretend it. No, this is... Look at me. Like, do I not look disgusted with this? I, I don't want to say the word hate because it's not fair. But I don't like... Bleh, this is how I feel about the New Age. It's disgusting, okay? So I'm not talking about that. But unfortunately, the New Agers have stolen everything in the so-called spiritual world or the world of reality and just made it into a thing so that they can sell you a workshop, okay? So, and they can sell you a dream that you're going to find the love of your life and find your beloved. Bleh, this is how I feel about this. Just so that we on the same page because what I'm talking about ain't got nothing to do with this. I hope this is clear, okay? I think it's clear. So, this is how uh, you reclaim your manhood in a holistic, another word, sense. This is not an easy job. It's certainly not for everybody. Most people don't give a fuck because they just want to scratch their itch and, and, re and reach the top of, I don't know what. Right? But that's their interest. That's fine. I respect that. That's their life. To each their own. But if that is resonant with you, you, you got to go on a journey and you're going to need some help. And I'm telling you, you're going to need the help of men who understand the process, who are on, uh, have undertaken this process. And eventually you'll need to encounter women who themselves have gone through their healing journey or, or they can still be on it, but they're like well ahead of you so that you can start to receive. Oh, okay, that's a woman. 
Listen, with all due respect, I don't want to disrespect the mommies of the world, but with all due respect, and you'll understand, at least if you're intelligent, you'll understand. Oh, this is exhausting trying to talk about this. It's like, it's like this. okay? <laughs> if you know anything about psychology, you know that mommy is uh, anxious, okay? This is me saying it respectfully. Mommy is very anxious. Grandmommy was very anxious. Everybody's very anxious. And that anxiousness makes, creates psychological disturbances. And you are the result of those psychological disturbances. You've lived it. You know what I'm talking about. If you just dare being a little honest, this is not a disrespect to mom. It's just say, well, mommy is distressed. And this is our experience. The love that you're supposed to receive from the goddess in the form of mom when you're a kid is not maybe a little, little, little bit, okay? No, it's, it's a con, it's manipulations, it's, it's a dragon. This is, mommy is not mommy, okay? It's a, it's a thing that needs to suck. I'm sorry, I have to say it. So you, this is our, as men, and the women also through with their mom, this is our first experience. I, I, I'm like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm food. I am food of mommy. But I can't run. <laughs> I can't talk. I can't even hold my head. I can't move my arm properly. I can't talk. And I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm screwed. I better comply to mommy. My life depends on it. And one, when mommy is not happy, she just like shifts something in her like, and you're like, everything in you shakes. Because your life is now in jeopardy. This is the basics of child psychology. Sum up in about 37 seconds. You're welcome. This is men's, women also. But this is us as men. This is our basic experience of the woman. In a way, you have a, an attraction, a natural attraction to it. And at the same time, an aversion because it's, it hurts you, it's violent. And you don't understand its violence. Because it's subtle. It's psychological at a, such a deep level that you cannot even fathom. And that's also the power of the womb, but in a twisted expression. A woman is always going to be a woman. If she's healthy, she's a creatrix. And when she's unhealthy, she's also a creatrix. It's the same supreme power just twisted and this is how we've experienced this so you have an attraction to it and at the same time an aversion to it and then you you're like how do i conquer this thing because clearly i want to get laid i don't even know what it means i want to get laid and you're also pretty fucking damaged and you want to actually go back up her vagina and go back into the womb and disappear from existence that's another subject it's very complex let's put it this way and this is our basic experience with women. And then you go out into the world and you meet other women who have been trained by their moms to go get food. You. And this is not me saying bad shame on women. This is the, this is the process of disease. So as a man, your experience of a woman is uh, deranged. You've never experienced the goddess through mom because mom was anxious so this becomes now some form of fantasy it's not it's fundamental to the human experience and i want to stress this is very important for me because it can come out a little you know i'm a little uh, clownish the reality of it is that this is the outcome of thousands of years of social conditioning. And there's a deeper le level to it also. We're all in the same boat. Mommy is suffering what mommy is suffering. Daddy is confused. Everything is Kali Yuga. Everything is messed up. Everything is upside down. Everything is knotted up. And part of our job in this day and age is to see through and participate in the unknotting. At whatever degree 
it is that we can or we're designed to do. This is the essence of the game in our lives. Unknot shit. It's kind of weird. Sometimes I think about this and I'm like, my whole life is unknotting things. What a weird life. Well, welcome to this age. It's like this. So men need to be in the company of men who understand manhood in the light of life and eventually, in, eventually to be in, this, in, the inf, in the sphere of influence of women who are devoted to the craft of womanhood, which is the goddess. Not secretly looking to fiend on you and suck from you, which is all we know. So it's a totally different experience, and it's an experience, it's that, an experience that transforms you, it soothes you because you receive the feminine energy that you need so badly and that you don't know how to access within yourself. Once these energies start to be activated in you, you can have access to it on your own. It's, of course, a delight and a pleasure with, in the presence of a woman, but I can do it on my own, in my own practice, in my own sadhana, I can have access to this. But that energy is so locked and so traumatized and you're so afraid of it, that you need to have a, an initiation that activates that energy so that you have a taste of it in its rightful, truthful, genuine, healthy, ah, shit, I have to say the word, sadvik way. And that transforms you. It transforms your understanding of yourself, of women, of life, of manhood, who you are, who you thought you were. Everything, it's, it's internal. It's a, it's, a, it's a polar shift of consciousness. <laughs> I love that shit. It's great. You need it.